A street corner that's been at the center of chaos in downtown Sacramento could soon change, and the reason might surprise you. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is getting answers for us on how a liquor store's trouble may change downtown. No more alcohol from the only liquor store in the radius of 10th and J Streets. We went in for tequila, and there is a big tarp across the back that says, sorry, not selling alcohol. The alcoholic beverage control suspended Rodney's cigar and liquor stores licensed for liquor after minors were sold alcohol three times in the last year. Now they've got six months to sell or transfer to another owner. Rodney's liquor is the backdrop for problems in this stretch of downtown. Just look at the street corners at 10th and J. The Citizen Hotel and a lively Cesar Chavez Park sit across from an empty building for lease and the liquor store. That's a hub for problems, according to Sacramento police. Out of towners noticed. It feels like there could be a few more places to go because that was really the, the only place he suggested. Take a look at this security camera image taken the night of Sacramento's worst mass shooting in history. Six people killed. Known gang members, a suspect, and a victim of the shooting parked in front of Rodney's minutes before the gang shootout. The liquor store named multiple times in charging docks as the spot where at least one shooter, pictured here, ran to escape. Loitering, public intoxication, open container citation, the kinds of issues SAC PD says they see around Rodney's or because of the store's proximity to people who live unhoused. Now, the current owners of the liquor store did not want to talk on camera or even give a comment for this story. SAC PD noted the biggest issue areas are alleys and in front of City Hall where people take the liquor they've bought.